Hi, welcome back to Cooking with Grandpa. Today we're going to make a nice apple pie. On our apple pie, we're going to use granny apples. You can use Rome or Jonathan Gold. Uh, what do you call it? I'm using granny. You need about three pounds. This is a fresh apple pie. We're making with fresh apples, not canned apples. I'm going to cook these a little and first to soften them up a little bit. Okay, we're, we're going to start, we're going to put our butter into the pan and melt that down a little bit. And uh, the, all the description of all the, uh, the ingredients will be in the, in the description and how much we use for each. Now I, I salt, I put these in salted water and then rinse them off. That stops them from turning brown when you're cutting them all up. You kind of have to do that. I'm going to leave the salt that was in the recipe out because I don't want too much salt in this. So what you do is you start melting your butter and you put your apples in there and start them. You just want to heat these up a little and draw some of the water out of them. And I'm going to take my first portion of sugar and throw it in there and that'll make, make the uh, water, liquid come out. Draw some liquid. When you use canned apples, you don't have to do this. You just have to make the syrup for it. But with fresh apples, you should do this. Okay, you see how much liquid is in there? That draws all that liquid out. That's going to become our syrup to hold it all together. You just do it until it's a little soft, these apples. Okay, we, we simmered this a few minutes and you can see the water starting to boil in there. Now I have my second mixture here of cornstarch and, and water. Like I said, everything will be listed in the description. And you're going to add this into this mixture. Cook it until it clear, makes it clear, shows up clear. I'll show you that in a few minutes. It takes a couple of minutes. Okay, so it's kind of clear, the, the syrup now. And you do this, and you shut off your stove and you simmer them in that, and they softened up a little. Now you can add your, the, the remaining ingredients. The sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, stub that around. Now if you don't do this and you just make some people make apple pie with fresh apples and they just use the raw apples in the shell, you're going to end up with a very watery apple pie. This helps prevent that. So you do this until that butter melts up. Don't don't mash them up. Just you know, gently. My blood is gone. I guess. Okay. Now we take this and we're going to put it in a sheet pan and let it cool. And then we're going to come back for our next part of this apple pie making. Want this to cool down to room temperature. You don't put this in a pie hot. I'm spreading it out so it's a little thinner, cools faster. 
And that's it. We're going to get back to our, uh, we'll get back to you. We'll start rolling out our dough. Okay, now that our apples have cooled down to room temperature, we're going to roll out our all buttered pie crust dough, which you can see on our channel above. Now, this is a mealy crust. You don't want a flaky crust for the bottom of this pie because you don't want anything going through it. I'm gonna start rolling it out. I wanna try and get it to about 11 half, an inch disc. Okay, we're getting close. We want it about 11 inches round. Don't make it too thick because your crust will never cook. That's about nice. Now the trick is to get it onto the pie tin. Just press this down, but hold it up here to get it into the pipe there. Tin. Nice to the bottom. You don't dock this here pie crust like the other blind crust, because you don't want the filling to sleep through. So we got our thing down here, good. I'm gonna go around here and trim this off. we can make a little tart with this later on. Now you try to put your filling into your pie without getting it on the edges of that pie tent. Because you want the top of course to stick to it. You got too much filling after you're done. This is about you started with three pounds of apples. But when you cut them up, peel them, you don't have three pounds. And that looks like pretty much a lot. You got some left over, you could always have a scoop of ice cream with this on top. And I think that'll taste delicious. Put them in the fridge. Okay, we'll get back to you now with the top crust. Okay, we've got our top crust, we're gonna get it all the way out. Sometimes when it's too cold, it starts cracking on the sides, just fix it up. You noticed I used a black pan for this. And I'm gonna put it on a black sheet pan in the oven because the big problem is cooking the dough at the bottom of the filling. And that helps when you use dark colored pans. Let me get this to about 10 inches. There you go. You can fold this under if you want, make it thicker. Make 
cut some of it off while it's light there. Where do you think it's too heavy? Let's cut some of it off. This is important to make a nice big hole in the center for steam to get out. And then I got my egg wash, one egg, and the same one to one mixture with water. That's it, it's ready to go into the pie and it's into the oven. You want to put this in the oven at 425 degrees for about 30 minutes. See, I got a black and I'm on the bottom, on the bottom of the uh, oven. Because you want that crust to start cooking right away. Okay, we're all done. We baked it. I actually went too long and I baked it about 40 minutes, 50 minutes. It should be only about 30. And the filling kind of bubbled up too much and it cracked some of my crust. But all well and good, it's gonna taste great. Okay, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. By the way, go to our channel and see all our other great recipes and happy Four.